Look at this. I literally couldn't even tell you what that was. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Dee Dee and this is Misfit to Fit. I love all the support that I've been getting from you guys. So if you guys want to see more videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with somebody because the hopes are somebody else is in desperate need of these videos. Today is basically kind of going to be mom tips slash things they don't tell you when you become a mom. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Number one, your clothes will get dirty. 99% of the time you don't know what that thing is. Number two, laundry will pile up daily. You, your baby, or husband, or everybody all at once. Like you will have a mountain of laundry to do almost every single day. If not every day, every other day, at least once a week you'll be washing clothes. You are an automatic translator. Um, you're the only one that knows what your child says. And it's weird because it makes sense to you, but to everybody else it's like nothing. Number four, you will have more than one role at a time. You will be a referee be the maid you will also be the cook you will also be the loving mother and you will also be the crazy mom who just loses it within like 20 seconds because you have like 12 different roles that you're jumbling at one time five you are officially mom and with that title mom you are every other child's mom so they will start calling you mom because you are a mom Cleaning will be the last thing on your list. You can have a list of like 12 things to do. Cleaning will be number one. Guess how many times you'll get a, be able to do number one? Zero times. Number seven, sleep is non-existent. You won't have sleep. Who needs it anyways? When you and your husband or you and your partner want to get down and do a little something, something, those are the nights that you won't get that because baby will be awake. Number eight, you will have to do things that you don't want to. By that, I mean dancing to Chuck E. Cheese 12 times in one day. A high five. Just give yourself a high five. Really high and stomp your feet on the ground. Nine, budgeting. You cannot budget for children. It is impossible. Don't hurt your head over it. Don't stress over it. When children come, children come. If you're not ready, you're going to get ready. If you don't have enough diapers, you're going to find a way to get diapers. Formula is expensive. Diapers are expensive. Clothes are expensive. Do not try to budget for children because it's impossible. Do what you got to do to get to make it work. It's just, it, that's just really what it is. You can't budget for children. Like you can have an emergency, but then again, it's hard to budget for kids because it's just like, it, it doesn't work because by the time they are wearing size three diapers, it'll be like in size five by like two weeks later. So I know there are some mamas out there who like to go by a schedule and like to have things mapped out, be like really strict on your schedule. If you are, kudos to you, please teach me because I would love to be better on time management but it's a little hard and you know people get frustrated don't get frustrated because at the end of the day you kind of have to adjust with what your child wants and what fits you for that moment number 11 working out will be impossible if you make it impossible if you make time to work out you will be able to make work out if you don't make time then you'll come up with excuses of why you can't work out the way that i found working out to be able to fit into my my kids work out with me and i make it a playtime so literally I would do like a 30 minute workout and be like, all right guys, let's, let's run I'm following the screen and they're following me. So it just works that way. It's a little bit easier if you have childcare. If you don't have childcare, then it gets a little complicated because then you have to find somebody to watch your kids and then um, it always works. So figure out what works for you and your family and try and incorporate your kids in there because it just makes it better. It's just easier. Love is my favorite coffee plus Jesus equals love. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have never been this addicted to coffee before in my life. I drink like <laughs> two cups of coffee a day. 
Make time for your spouse. I know it's really hard because when you become a new mom, you're worried about the baby, worried if the baby has food, if the baby has clothes, if the baby has this, but then you have to remember, like, it's not just the baby. You're like, I mean, your spouse is there too, so it's kind of, each person needs attention in a different way. Your husband needs you physically there to him because you need, one, you need adult interaction, and two, you don't want to neglect, you know, your husband or your partner. It's just better if you just, you know, make time to be present with them and intentionally be with them. My husband has been super amazing with our children and I could not thank him enough because I don't know, like, what I would do if he never came home from work. Like, if he had... If he worked like overnights or something like that, I probably would go into a panic. Just like the eight hours that he is gone from home, I'm literally like at the door. Is that little mom? Is that him? No, it's not him. 14, hormones. Ladies, y'all know, okay? One minute we crazy, the next minute we crying, and then after that, we're like happy and then we're crying again. Like your hormones are out of whack for the first three months after having a baby, okay? It's really hard to be happy all the time. I mean, there's gonna be days where you're just kind of, there's gonna be days where you're just kind of up and down, where you're like, you're crying over one thing and then you're happy and then you're screaming at everybody and then you're sad. Like, it's just not any way to control it. You just have to embrace it. Give yourself a lot of grace and time because you just had a child and your hormones are literally like this. And it's just because of the change and your body changes quickly, your mind has set, has to change quickly and everybody just has to adapt. So you just gotta make it work how you can make it work. That's why I say coffee and Jesus because without Jesus, y'all know I would be suffering. Number 15, it takes a village to raise a child. You guys have probably heard this saying before but it is so true and it goes without a doubt that it literally takes a village to raise a child. Family, friends, your spouse, your children's godparents like they are there in your life for a reason do not hold back from them and if they ask if you need help with something get it take it because you'll appreciate it not try and be superwoman and do it all by yourself when you're stressing out and that's when the postpartum depression kicks in and y'all don't want that because it's not fun number 16 you will lose friends and this is like the sad part about motherhood because um, things switch because you're in a different season and you're at a different level than they are and they can't relate to you and they can't or they feel like they can't talk to you on that level anymore because you're now a mom and you know at first it can be really really bad you can be really really sad and feel alone but then if you think about it you will encounter a whole new community of moms and women who have gone through the same thing as you and you kind of have people to depend on shout out to my group because I lost a after I got pregnant and got married because none of my friends have experienced that before. So it was kind of hard for them. But then I found a new group to kind of lean on and they all have kids and they're all kind of in a relationship except one who doesn't have a kid, but that's okay. We still love her and she takes our children like they're her own. It takes a village. <laughs> Always try and put yourself first. I know it's hard. I know it's really, really hard because you have another human being that depends on you. And then if you have twins or you have multiple kids, you have multiple human beings that depend on you. So it's really, really hard. But if you are feeling down or sad, like, you know, take a minute to like, just regather yourself. If the kids have to cry, the kids have to cry because at the end of the day, you need your sanity. You need to be sane to be able to take care of them. And if you're not, then it just goes downhill for everybody and nobody wants to feel like that. All moms have to be stay-at-home moms. And I wanna say that again because this is a big thing. When you become a mom, you do not have to be a stay-at-home mom. If the role fits you, by all means, love it, embrace it, it's a new, it's a job. You don't get paid for, but you get rewarded with love and it's just amazing but if you're not a stay-at-home mom don't beat yourself up because you're not and if you are a working mom don't beat yourself up because you are a working mom because at the same time you still have a very important role in your child's life it's okay not to be okay a hundred percent of the time you cannot be superwoman said you can't just take the world by storm you can't you know have a kid and change one kid and take care of your husband and cook food it's okay if you are stressed out let somebody know that you're stressed out call a friend and ask somebody hey I'm not doing okay I need somebody here with me because I don't feel like I'm okay 99% of the time they're willing to help you and you 
it's okay. You don't have to have it under control all the time. It's okay to ask for help. Lastly, you are an amazing mom. If nobody ever tells you this, I'm telling you this now. Your child is more than happy and satisfied with you in their life. You are an amazing person. And the fact that you carried another human being for nine months, now you're caring for that human being for another 17, 18 plus years, like you're incredible. You're, you're more than incredible. You're a wonder woman. And your child is so lucky to have somebody like you who is strong, beautiful, and just courageous and just independent and willing to just like, it's just so amazing to me that, you know, we get this role to be moms. We get to carry kids for nine and a half months. We get to then use our bodies to produce food for our children. And then at the same time, we're able to have strength to play with our kids, to teach our kids. And that's just something that you can't, I mean, I just really hope every single woman is able to experience motherhood in a way that I've experienced it because it is so amazing and I love being a mom. Even on the bad days, just remember you're a great mom and your child loves you and appreciates you. That is all I have for you guys today. Also, take a look at my new background. This is not my house. It's my best friend's house. I'm just using it as a stage, y'all. But shout out to my friends for letting me use their house as my prop. This look I mean, my room is just, y'all tired of seeing my room. So my videos are gonna be coming from here now. I feel like super mom all the time.